there welcome back to my channel i'm lisa and if you're new here this is southern yankee designs I know y'all have been waiting and waiting. I have been getting so many comments about this piece and when is it gonna be done? And here it is. I did a video a while back that was a transformation of my pantry using some really cool pieces to save money on cabinetry. If you haven't seen that video, here is the link, and I will also link it in the description box below. You may want to watch that before you see this video. That way, this will all make sense. I had my eye on this piece for about three months, and when I saw they dropped the price to only $100, I knew it was coming home with me. This was the deal of the century. Can you believe I got this huge piece of furniture for only a hundred dollars? Score! Once I got everything unloaded, I put everything in place and got ready to create this fabulous masterpiece. And this is a really cool feature to this whole project. And if you did see the video that I was telling you about that's linked below um, about my pantry, we were discussing what I was going to do on this side of this custom piece. And several of you gave me this great idea to do a shelving unit, except it's not just a shelving unit. It's a secret door. <laughs> so cool. So how I made this is it's basically just a flat panel door. I put a piano hinge on it and I built trim i actually laid this out on a sawhorse first and i glued all the pieces in place like this and then i nailed everything in place with my nail gun and then when i installed the door it was just perfect i'm so thankful that i had a friend that works on cabinets to help me out with this project he built a framed box that connected the center cabinet to the wall. It created a tunnel, so to speak, kind of like a built-in refrigerator cabinet without the refrigerator. While he was working on that, I was working on the layout on the front of the door. I used some old cabinet doors I had, and I also used one by twos for my faux shelves. I cut the 1x2s to fit my layout and I glued everything in place with wood glue. After the glue was dry, we hung the door on two piano hinges that were about the length of the entire door. I then used my nail gun to secure everything in place and added finishing trim. Now, all of the books I got from my local thrift store and I did have some help but I used a table saw and a miter saw to cut them in half. And I just glued them all in there. Before I glued all of these accessories in place, I painted the background black. So it creates depth in there. I've got this wood piece that I already had, but one of the legs was broken. So instead of throwing it out, I cut it in half and glued it in there. Um, same with these baskets. I got these baskets here from the Dollar General and I cut them in half with my miter saw or my chop saw. 
there's no wire in there so i could totally do that same with this basket i got from a local um thrift store there was no wire in it so i just very carefully um cut it in half because it's basically wood this is one of the baskets i got from the dollar general i measured the depth of my faux shelf which was about one inch deep and then i marked it on my basket and cut it very carefully with my miter saw i then glued a piece of cardboard on the back for extra support you can see it sits perfectly on my faux shelf these are the books that I got from a local thrift store. Again, I cut them to size to fit the depth of my faux shelf. I used a table saw and like I said, I did have some help. So if you're a little nervous using saws, I would definitely recommend having somebody do that for you as well. I also had some of these wooden fake books on hand and I cut them and used them as well. I love using these fake wooden books for interior design projects. They are great for stacking and adding a pop of color in your design. If you're not comfortable cutting these books, then there are options that you can find online where there are sets of fake books that you can use for a project like this, but they are kind of expensive. This little basket I got at a local thrift store and I think it was like 99 cents and since there was no frame I just again cut it to size to fit on my faux shelf and it fit perfectly. I do want to add that I laid everything out on the floor before I glued all of these things in place. Um, so all of these pieces were cut in half and I just think that's so cool. And then I've got a secret within the secret. This I got from Tuesday morning. It's just one of those little uh, fake books that you can put little secrets in there. <laughs> Once everything was in place and these baskets, everything's glued in place, um, these are just folded and, and just laying in there like that. So it just gives it more of a realistic look. On the back of the door, I added a handle, some cabinet magnets to help keep the door closed, and a hook and eye latch for a little extra security. piece that I found at that thrift store that you saw earlier but I only paid a hundred dollars for it it was a steal this thing is so cool I absolutely love it it has so many different doors it's just a unique piece that I have not seen before and I ended up putting it up on a riser because I wanted the center part of this unit to be higher than the sides. So it looks like a custom wall unit or a butler's pantry. It's not really a butler's pantry because there's no sink. So a custom, I don't know, cabinet. I've got to figure out what knobs I'm going to use, what poles. I think I'm gonna go with these because this really brightens it up. So um, I will finish that at a later day, but at least you get the gist of how this is turning out. I also got um, these lights that just stick up in here and I got them from Amazon. They come with a remote and they come with three different colors, which is really cool and I just 
put them in a couple strategic places. I think what ties all of these different pieces together and makes them look like one custom piece is painting them all the same color. I chose Sherwin-Williams Urbane Bronze. I can't be any happier with how this project turned out. This saved me a ton of money, but I also got to let my creative juices flow and I actually surprised myself. <laughs> but I did save a ton of money just creating my own unique piece. And I hope I inspired you to do the same. Well, hello, beautiful doors. I bet you thought I totally skipped over this whole part of the project. Wrong. I actually have a video of how I created these beautiful custom doors. I'll put it in the description box below. I just love how this whole project turned out. What do you think?